What's up guys, welcome back once again to our Digimon Let's Play series, I guess. We're here in the heart of Logic Volcano, we're more more like, we're, we're close to the tippy top of the Logic Volcano in all honesty, but you know, words and stuff. Hope everybody is doing fantastic today, we have a lot to talk about to kick the start of this episode off. You guys are going to be wondering why we're in the Logic Volcano, you're going to be wondering what the hell we're doing, what time it is in the game, have we missed anything, blah blah blah, all that good stuff and I'm going to catch you up in just a little second. But first of all, we're fighting this Meteormon and the only reason we're fighting against Meteormon is basically to get a bit of money off this guy and there's a ton of reasons why we're doing that and I'm going to explain them in just a second. I'll probably let this battle play itself out and when we come back I will give you guys the, the rundown and the deets on uh, what we're doing today and what we're getting up to. So, we'll be back in just a second. Alright fam, so let's uh, let's talk about some stuff because we're going to sit here for a little second and give you guys a quick catch up. I did some stuff off screen today, not a lot, very very little in all honesty, but you guys uh, deserve to know what it was I was getting up to. Anyway, so here we go. Basically, I done not very much since I left the city. I started off the episode off screen exactly where we left off in Digimon's hut. I think I grabbed some items, I went to the bank real quick and deposited and picked up a bunch of stuff. The The items that I picked up were mostly food items and that's because we're constantly in this um, cycle of running out of uh, snacks when we're out and about. Okay, we the, These two guys, Joe and Sam, they both devour meat at a ridiculous pace. So uh, yeah, we picked up a bunch of stuff that we're going to hopefully feed our Digimon and then I did one other important thing which uh, I've never done off screen before but something that needed to be done before I did everything else and that was I went into the builder and popped on an upgrade we decided that um, we were going to do Digimon's house this time around okay there was other stuff that I wanted to prioritize but I'm going to get onto that in just a minute so we put Digimon's house on to upgrade nothing really exciting but I then left the city and went out into Nye Plains and I went down the, the mountain over the little bridge and I took a left into what is called like the uh, I don't know, the garden path or some shit like that, the forest path, I think. It's that really long, thin, kind of slender path, and it leads to, like, mod cape and the red Vegemon and all that jazz. The reason I went down here is because I wanted to harvest this tree in particular, and this is, um... This is an important tree because it gives us digi sap as you guys have are seeing just now. So, yeah, the the reason we need digi sap is to upgrade our, our meat fields. So, as I just said a second ago, we're constantly running out of food and so I thought I would run down here. It's a very local area, really really easy to access for us at any point in the game almost. And so I thought I'd, I would harvest the, the digi sap for today because that was quite important. So from here, I autopiloted directly back to the city and I then went straight to Wizardmon and teleported to Logic Volcano, which is where we are just now. And the reason I did that was because I am pretty sure, guys, I am pretty sure as hard as, uh, <laughs> as, hard as it is to admit, maybe some of you guys will be happy about it, right? But I'm pretty sure that today or tomorrow at some point, I'm not exactly sure when, but I'm pretty sure based on the ages of Joe and Sam that these two little fellows are going to pass away very soon. Now again, they are age 21, which would make sense that tomorrow, um, because we don't have all of the life gain perks, that these guys are going to pass away at some point. So... If I pull you guys back into the actual gameplay, we can do a bit more training here as I talk because let's stay productive, all right? So I'm pretty sure that Joe and Sam are going to pass away at the end of today. I can't be sure on that. This game is kind of funny sometimes where, you know, your Digimon end up living like an extra day or that. Um, due to a number of variables, there can be so many things that change uh, your Digimon's life cycle. But anyways... I'm pretty sure that uh, we don't have long left and so because of that reason I wanted to go somewhere and train against Digimon and try and gain a bit of money to um, you know, give us a platform that we could then take our, our next few guys, our next rookies that are about to be reborn and <clears throat> excuse me, and also start training them up as well. Obviously for training in the early game you usually need a bunch of resources, it depends how ambitious your training methods are and where you're training and stuff like that but the crux is we would need money and because we had no money at the end of the last few episodes we were doing a lot of uh, running about a lot of weird fights and stuff we uh, we had very little fun so 
because Wizard Ramon, or Wizard Mon, sorry, could take us directly to Logic Volcano today, I chose to go there because it was absolutely free. Now, I wasted an autopilot going from, you know, the, the sap plant tree in the forest to the city and then to Logic Volcano, but Wizardmon being free and taking us here for free was one of the main reasons I came here. Secondly, I also wanted to come and fight this Meteormon that we're fighting against just now because he actually pays out quite, quite a lot of money for being a very low level. So it's not amazing funds or whatever, but for us at this point of the game and our current level, this guy is actually quite good to be training against because I think normally he gives us about 2 two and a half k um, money, I, I think. It's like closer to 2,200 or something, but in addition, what he can sometimes do is also drop medicine, which sells for about 1k as well, so we haven't seen a lot of those, if any, I think, I, I'm not sure, I haven't really been paying attention in all honesty, but uh, that's that's the main reason we're fighting against this guy. Now, I know it's somewhere in the game there are probably better enemies to be fighting against. One that I thought of was, uh, there's a Wizardmon in Bonnie Resort that's in the uh, Celebrity Green Room, I think. And I tried training against him as well, but there was a couple of reasons why I didn't need to do this, but, you know, we're going to do it. Is he going to die before this goes off? <laughs> yeah, yes, okay. <laughs> yeah, so I thought about going and fighting the Wizardmon, but there's a couple of reasons I, I decided not to do that. Because Wizardmon would have paid us about 4k a fight, which is obviously really, really good. But Joe would have gotten ill faster inside Bonnie Resort, and then in addition it would have cost us about 4, 5k to travel there anyway. So Wizardmon was free. Logic Volcano was a better environment, yada yada yada, you guys get the drift. So, again, maybe not the most ideal training spot or um, place to be grinding money, but um, I'm going to show you exactly how much I've been doing off screen because, you know, in all honesty, I have done about, I don't know, like 15 battles at this point. So if I take you guys in here, we can have a look at a couple of things. So let's go into Tamer. We have now 43k uh, funds and we are very close to another Tamer level up. Now, I don't know if we're going to get that Tamer level up before the Digimon pass away, but it's quite important to try and calculate that because if I go into get skills, you guys will see that um, we're actually very close to having enough to buy this upgrade here. See, so Heaven's Blessing is an yet another Digivolution kind of inheritance boosting ability, and we need three points for that. So if we could get this upgrade, this uh, level up rather, then we should be able to acquire this upgrade. Although, with all that being said, I'm not sure if we're going to manage it. It's a bit of a I don't know, we're, we're about 1000 XP off, we get about 40 XP for each of these fights, it's kind of weird, but I don't know, we'll see what see what happens. So yeah, I, I wasn't planning on training here for very much longer, you guys might be wondering, Jack, if you only have a day left with your, with your uh, Mega Digimon, why aren't you out there in the field, why aren't you doing something useful with your time, you know, battling a specific really difficult Digimon, and that's, that's a great question, in all honesty, and it's something that I was considering, but we don't have EXE available to us just now. Um, I think we used it today. I don't know who we used it against. It was probably somebody really stupid, but I can't remember. Maybe it was part of our main quest. I get the feeling it was actually against Datamon in the last episode, now that I think about it. So, yeah, we don't actually have access to our EXE Digivolution. So, fighting extremely difficult Digimon is kind of out of the question. Going into the main story is probably out of the question because we've been kind of bum rushing that. And again, we won't be able to EXE if we get in a, in a pickle. Now, obviously, dying and all that stuff would be a problem if we, if we go into a fight. There is a chance that we could get saved by something miraculous that you guys may or may might not know about. I am aware that there's a possibility that we could, you know, kind of like cheese our way to a victory, if you like. But I won't talk about that anymore just now because some of you guys won't know what I'm talking about right now. You were like, Jack, you're talking absolute nonsense, but all will be revealed in due course. So yeah, there's a one last thing that I want to kind of consider before we actually decide what we're going to be doing here. Um, I thought I heard a minute ago, see Joe? I'm pretty sure, yeah, Joe's looking a bit... So that's, that's what I'm talking about, guys. So, right on cue, our Digimon need fed. Now, this is going to be interesting because we don't have a lot of food with us. Now, I wanted to stay in a tent here tonight. I wanted to camp and then travel back to the city tomorrow, but I don't know if we have enough food. Um, we have a lot of random shit. I think we're going to be absolutely fine, in all honesty. Let's give some cheerful apples to Joe and try and make him feel, first of all, there's... Oh, that, perfect. That's absolutely ideal. Okay, Sam, um, I want to kind of keep some cheerful apples, my friend. So if I could feed you some weird shit, that would be great. I don't want to feed you... What about an Asnut? Would you like one of those? Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright, cool. Now, Joe on, on the left-hand side of the screen there is starting to grunt 
which is the uh, main indication that he will be passing away today or tomorrow at some point. So that is kind of sad, but, you know, I think we've had these guys for a long, long time. It feels like, I don't know how many episodes, but a decent amount, a decent handful. We've accomplished so much of the game with these guys. We've fought through a lot of the, uh, the level two battles and main story, but... I think it is about time we gave birth to some two two new rookies, raised them up into much much stronger versions of these guys. They're gonna be they're gonna go way surpassing past these guys in power level once we grow them, and yeah, it'll be nice to get some fresh megas and probably be able to handle a lot more of the fights in the game a lot easier because as we were getting further and further into our main story with these two with Sam and Joe, we were leaning on EXE Digivolution a lot. Like I'm not even gonna try and hide that we were basically crutching on that the whole the last few episodes trying to beat some of the main fights so it'll be nice to get Digimon who can actually handle themselves a little bit again so I'm looking forward to that and I think we can accomplish that this episode so we'll see I don't know how much longer we're going to stay here if we camp and then one of these guys passes away in the morning we will get a free autopilot back to the city which is a bit of a creepy way of thinking about it but that being said, I think what I want to do is probably just head back to the city anyway and we'll try and speed this process up because I've been here for a long time and although this is not the uh, the most efficient way of doing things, I am just going to port back to the city just now. So yeah, that is that guys. I did a lot of rambling there. Perfect. Wow. Okay. Sorry. That sounded really weird when I said that there. I sounded like a kid that was getting his birthday cake at like five years old. But anyways, Tamer level went up. This is important. Let's pay attention to this, because I really didn't think we were going to get this, but I guess all of our other things that we were doing added up, so that's really good. So yeah, guys, I think we're going to grab this, heaven's blessing. Um, it just really, really does make sense. If these guys are just about to be reborn, then we want to be inheriting as much stats as possible so that we get a head start with our next set of digis. So that is that. We have five points left, and there are other ones that I would like to consider. We could save up for Big Life Booster, obviously, which would be insane. Um, the reason I've held off on not picking up this yet, guys, as I mentioned in the past, if you guys missed that, is sometimes I think it's nice to have a short Digimon life cycle so that we can see more Digimon in the game, alright? I don't want to be playing through 50-60% of the game with just two Megas because although that's definitely possible, um, I don't think it's it's fun. I, I like getting different Digimon. I mean, Crusadermon is a great example, right, with Joe. If I, I'm just going to do a quick side tangent really quick, guys, but... Joe was a completely random mega. I'd never had Crusadermon before in any of the Digimon games that I've ever played. So when we got him this this um, series, right, I wasn't expecting him. I didn't really want him, but he's turned out to be great. Um, he's one of the. He's been pretty good and and helping us in the fights that we've been doing. He had the ability to like boost the speed and the HP stat and all that shit or defense or whatever it was. Was I can't fucking remember. But anyways, my point is it's nice to explore the game. And try out new Digimon. That's what I'm trying to say. So that's why I haven't went for Big Life Booster. Because I don't want to be stuck with the same Digis for ages. Which it is what it is. You guys can agree or disagree. But that's just my personal play preference. So anyway. I also thought about having a look at some of these guys. Um, the Bond Boost and Digi Friend Boost. Because although um, I wouldn't normally consider these. It might actually be quite good when we're training up our new Digis. Because it's going to help us acquire uh, our Bond a lot sooner. And then we will be able to EXE sooner as well. So... I think I want to take this point here, which uh, is a bit weird. The alternative is to come into Trainer and have a look at some of these ones. So, uh, boost the effects of Scolding and Praising. This would help us um, push our Discipline up and down really easily. So, that was another one I was considering as well. I'm not really sure. I think we should go for... Let's let's go for the Bond one. And uh, we'll just raise our Bond as fast as possible. Digifriend boost can be good as well. And it's a little bit harder to push up, I think. But... Um, we're going to take a point in here and learn this one as well. So, that's pretty good, guys. Pretty successful. We come back to the town with a shit ton of money. Uh, and all all in all, we now have um, 47k, which is absolutely fantastic. That's by far the most amount of money we've had in the game so far. So, yeah. Alright, now what to do with our time left. I think what we should probably do is just head up to the fishing area and fish. Normally, what I would do here is um, pop across to the... I would pop across to the gym. And spend some time training up, but I want to do this instead because again, it's another way we can uh, we can make some money. I'm gonna um, I'm gonna trigger Vikemon here on the off chance that we get super lucky and catch three black trout in a row, but I don't expect that to happen based on the banks that we have available and the lures and the perks and all that stuff. We have uh, almost nothing put into our fishing so far. We have level two of the bank, obviously, which is what we're fishing in now. 
and we have our feather lure I guess that we got from Seedramon back in the day but at the same time we have no tamer points in fishing we only have like access to these two shitty banks if you like the, as we acquire more we will have access to better fishing stuff so yeah I don't think we're going to get three black trouts but you never know we get well, I mean there's one I mean why why would it not be possible right game right game you want to uh, you want to give us a free uh, a free victory here that would be epic um although uh, again I'm super super skeptical we're just gonna we're just gonna do this for a little while guys I'm just gonna sit and chat with you probably and we can talk about what we're gonna do because I think I know which eggs I want to choose um not necessarily because of the Digimon inside them but because of the uh, trial and not even trial and error it's more like a um, process of elimin uh, process of elimination you know I know which eggs we have taken in the past and so I know what eggs we're gonna take that we haven't taken yet if that makes sense Token and taken and token. But, yeah. Okay, and I also know what we're going to call our digis as well. I wrote that down, I think. Did I write that down? I don't know. We might end up coming up with some ridiculous names on the fly, but I think we'll be okay. What time is it just now? Yeah, we're really, really close, guys. So, only about another 20 seconds, and then it should be time to go to sleep. And then we will see what we have to work with tomorrow. Because, again, these guys might not pass away immediately, but the fact that... The fact that Joe is wheezing when he is uh, this close to midnight um, is a massive, a massive predictor, a, a, a massive clue if you like. So, yeah, here we go. This will be the last fish we catch if we get any. There is a digi fry, and that is us. Time to go to sleep. So, what I'm going to do is pop down to Digimon's house. I always do this. Um, just so that we can guarantee our, we get our full rest and also pick our items up tomorrow. So, here we go. Uh, let's find out. Is this the end? of Joe and Sam. Um, so far, Sam actually hasn't given us any indication that he's ready to go yet, which is quite interesting because Joe actually did evolve second. So, uh, yeah. Are we going to keep these guys for a little while longer? No. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, guys. I think we have to have a, a quick second to kind of um, commemorate Joe, shall we say. Because uh, this pose basically sums up Joe in a nutshell. Yeah, what a fantastic Digimon. I never expected to get a Crusadermon in this playthrough. He's uh, The Digimon is just so pink and vibrant. It's just not normally my style. But do you know what? The dude was a legend. We actually done quite a lot and we accomplished a lot of Chapter 2 with this guy. A lot of the, uh, the hardest parts of this game is mounting the difficulty curve into Chapter 2 before you have access to the dojo, before you have access to, you know, certain things inside your city, before you have access to uh, a massive amount of tamer points and digivolution items and loads of other stuff. It's quite hard. Chapter 2 is one of the hardest parts of the game and once you get over that, the game becomes a lot more smooth sailing and Joe was one of the people who helped us um, get past that. So with this pose, you know, he was very, very good at sticking his ass in front of other Digimon's faces and whatnot. I mean, this pose here as he as he passes away just sums up the Digimon in a nutshell. God. All right. Thanks, Joe. You're an absolute fucking legend. All right. So now we have to choose what we're going to be doing. We have... So let's have a look at this, guys. We have picked this egg so far. We haven't picked this one or this one. I don't think we've picked that one either. We've definitely picked the pink one. Was it that one? Yeah, we've picked this one. We've picked this one. And we've picked the egg that's green. Oh, shit. I've, for <laughs> I've forgotten already. But anyways, I think that we should probably take this little guy here because um, Joe was a bright pink character. We get a stamina boost from this egg. Oh. <laughs> Holy moly. All right, Joe's infecting me. Sorry about that, guys. I've just been told that I need to bring in the washing, which is just ideal. I'm trying to bury a Digimon here. <sighs> no sensitiveness whatsoever. All right, so now that I've sneezed and all that jazz is out of the way, we get a stamina boost for this egg, and because Crusadermon was a bright pink Digimon, I think it's only sensible that we replicate that with this egg here because this is by far and my like it's by far one of my favorite and the most nice looking egg in my opinion <sighs> holy moly my nose i shouldn't have sneezed twice holy shit all right so here we go this little cutie is going to be joe's reincarnation jaramon what a cute little fellow all right fella what are we going to call you let's um so i'm thinking of all the usual names hmm but I think we should go with something something sensible. So I think that we should call... I don't know why we're going with this. I'm just feeling it. But we're going to call this little Jarimon Daryl. 
and he is going to be our one of our brand new guys. So here we go, fresh day at 6am and now Sam is starting to make bad noises as well, which in all honesty is probably a good thing. Let's uh, let's talk to you. Can, no, can you can you just not? I'm trying to talk to Beam on here. Thank you. We'll give you a present every five times and there we go, we get five autopilots. Did we actually get five? Is that how much he gives us? Alright, for the time being, guys, we're going to have to put up with uh, Sam's dying breaths, which, uh, you know, is kind of painful to listen to, but it is what it is. It won't be allowed around for much longer, as, as, as rude as it is for me to say that. I think that right now we have maxed out our best meat stash. I think we had 16 in the bank, so I'm going to now change these where we're here to rotten meat, which we can actually harvest a lot sooner, um, a lot quicker than the others, because we get four a day, which is great. So we should have this um, saved up in no time. Okay. Have we got stuff to pick up for you as well? No, we don't. Okay, I must have not reset these guys the last time I was here, which was my bad. But, uh, yeah. All right, let's do all this stuff. And then let's pop across to the bank real quick. And have a look at some items. Not, we won't do this very quickly because, again, I feel like we need to get to the gym and progress Sam a little bit. Um, if, if we train just now as well, we will get a, a slight boost to Jarimon, so that is something to pay attention to as well, if we can get there in time. I want to store the the special meat that we got there, best meat. So yeah, we have 20 of those now, which is exactly the amount we need to take to the Aguino Wastelands, which is great. So that is another kind of mini background task that we'll be doing ticked off. I'll keep all this fish, because honestly, I think we're going to sell it in a little minute. And yeah, we have a lot of shit in our inventory, guys, but at the same time, it's okay. Okay, so let's go straight to the gym because I can't bear to listen to this noise anymore. We're going to do one spot of training as if we can. Let's have a look at Daryl's stats real quick because um, we haven't actually paid attention to him now that he's been reborn. So Daryl starts with 2k HP, which was completely unheard of ages ago. So yeah, the little guy is going to be very, very tough. He has a massive boost to his stamina because that is what his special trait was when he was reborn. So this guy is pretty tough. In all honesty, which is kind of cool. Maybe Daryl can become a tank yet. That's pretty sweet. He lacks in wisdom and speed. So I think what we'll do is we'll put the little guy on speed for now. And then Sam, you have done more than enough, my friend. So I am going to let you rest in your final hours. And oh my god. Okay. That's not the one I was aiming for, but we pulled it off anyway. What a difficult training session. Holy shit. Alright. Are you going to be with us still, Sam? No. Oh, maybe not. Maybe Sam is still with us. I'm, I'm, I keep trying to shove this guy into the grave and he's like, bitch, I'm not dead yet. But, um, okay, yeah. Looks like Jaramon is going to digivolve here into his next form, whose name I don't know, but I'm going to find out in a minute. Gigimon, of course. Very, very cool. Alright, and Sam is still hanging in there as well, so let's keep doing this. We could probably boost Wisdom here, I guess, or maybe MP. It doesn't really matter. Let's do it this way give these guys a little boost and I'm gonna try and get this one on the end got it this time awesome sauce there's a that was a huge boost to MP holy shit and we're still going all right fantastic I didn't actually expect this so I'm just gonna push this as much as I can because this is a privilege that we won't often get so yeah I could let Sam train in all honesty if we were gonna be doing three training sessions I probably would have because again um, what Sam finishes with is what our next Digimon is going to inherit, so, but at the same time, I think we should just let him rest, because, I mean, listen to the sounds of him, he sounds like he's actually gone through hell right now, let's uh, put Daryl on HP training, and I'm thinking that this should be it, this should, I, I don't see Sam hanging in there for much longer, um, but if so, you never know, okay, there we go, alright, Sam, my buddy, a slightly more decent pose than uh, a slightly more conservative pose than Joe had when he passed away, but, um, <laughs> Sam is equally special because Sam was our first Mega in the series. He was Metal Garurumon Black, which is absolutely kick-ass. Absolutely super good. I, when, I, when I saw that that was an option, that was definitely the one I wanted to pick when we were aiming for Megas and stuff. I didn't even know if Sam and Joe were going to get to Megas, but they managed to accomplish it. Everything that we said for Joe, we can say for Sam because the dude was insane, he was super strong, he was our striker to begin with, he was very fast and a lot of the more powerful moves that we had access to he could use instantly like Buster Dive and all that shit so as well as his dark moves. So he carried really hard, he carried in the early training and then he carried at the end as well so he was really really good and yeah, 
as what it is. We're sad to see Sam go, but I think uh, his replacement is going to do him justice. So, with this being said, I now think it is time that we select this egg here. Because, as he was Metal Garurumon, and as we have not picked this egg yet, as far as I'm aware, if my memory is not absolute garbage, we, um, we're going to take this egg, guys, because here we get an MP buff, um, as well as being able to pick the Sunamon egg. So, yeah, let's do it. Do, 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 do. I think I know what I'm going to call this little guy as well, but we'll see. I always get to the name bit and then I want to call him something stupid, but then I have to kind of restrain. I don't know. Maybe I shouldn't be. Maybe we should just be going all out. Although I feel like that would be kind of shitting on Sam's uh, legacy. Sam was a big heavy Digimon man at the end. I feel like he does. We do kind of get to call him. <laughs> we, I think we get to ridicule him a little bit for how much fucking food he ate. God damn it, man. He cleaned us out like every day. Although it was, it was really super easy to feed because meat was his favourite food, which was just absolutely fantastic. So, I think for this Digimon, we're going to call this guy... Okay. Nice and simple. Okay. Maybe we can make some memes out of that, but we'll see as we go. Let's um, head up to the training session area. In fact, guys, I missed an opportunity. Let's actually go and do something else before we train real quick. Uh, if I can find the, the position... Jesus, I just didn't like the grand tour of the area. Let's go and talk to Skull Greymon because we have oh, we have some baby Digimon here and I think we can actually put this guy to good use. So, the big Skull dude is here. Let's have a look real quick at our stats before we do this. I, it's going to be really hard to, to tell the difference with Skull Greymon because I don't think he gives you a massive boost. But K is very, very small, so he is a stage below Daryl at this point. So K's stats are a little bit lower, but I think we can still uh, put... Skull Greymon to use here. I actually forgot about this with Daryl, but it should be okay. Let's uh, let's talk to this guy. There are things like ghosts and Shiki in the human world. It seems, yeah, you've said this before, mate. K looks at Skull Greymon with fear. That was mental training. Everything's gone up a little. MP, HP, strength, and stamina. Daryl looks at Skull Greymon with fear as well, and he gets mental training too. So that is us. Let's. Uh, I mean, again, we can have a quick peek. I don't know how much we're going to be able to see. I don't know how much he actually boosts us up, but. Um, yeah, I, I mean, we just have to kind of take it for granted. I, I I never paid attention to anything specific there in terms of these guys' stats. So, yeah, is what it is. I'm pretty sure we just got a free boost there, which is the main thing. Let's head back to the training area and get this little guy up to his in-training form. Now, I don't think that um, Daryl is going to digivolve to Rookie just yet. I think we got a day with this guy, although I could be wrong. Maybe it's just a few hours. I, yeah, it's definitely a few hours. I don't know what I'm talking about. Let's uh, let's have a look at K stats real quickly. So this little guy has a massive amount of MP. He's got a far larger pool of MP than Daryl does, even though again Daryl has been trained in MP and he has a he has a, a digivolution advantage. Um, K has a lot of MP, which is great. Stamina. Uh, and strength are also strong suits, but wisdom and speed are low again. So let's put K across on a speed. And I think, Daryl, we can keep you on the... Put you on HP training. There we go. We've got a rival bonus. All right, sick. I should probably be um, putting my webcam down in this corner as well, guys. Sorry. But, uh, yeah, I think this little guy's going to digivolve not straight away, which is kind of interesting. All right. K, are you, uh, are you ready to do some sort of um, change of runny here? I think we should see a change now, right? There we go. And these little guys are tired as well. Can't forget that they are actually baby Digimon. All right, cool. Now, in Digimon World 1, when we visited the shop with baby Digimon, or in fact, Digimon who are just after Digivolution, I think it was baby Digimon. Oh, wow. So, <laughs> there we go. Straight to Cinnamon. Cool. Okay, yeah, yeah, that's to be expected. And these guys are tired, so I'll let them sleep. Yeah, when when you visited the uh, the shop after Digivolution with Baby Digimon, you got a discount. I don't know if that's a thing in this game. Wow, we're uh, we're fair rattling through this anyway. So here we go. <laughs> Looks like uh, Daryl is now uh, moving on to his next stage. Um, is this going to be rookie form? I probably could have went along and looked at this in more detail. But I mean, why bother when we're going to just casually land a Gilmon? I mean, that's pretty fucking sick. Not gonna lie. All right, very nice guys. Now that's kind of interesting because I always thought this guy on the right would be Gilmon. Let's uh, let's nip through to the dojo real quick, guys, because we have some things to look at really, really quickly. Let's pop in here. I'm going to show you guys this function that we talked about briefly before. So it looks like uh, Daryl is already digivolved, which is ridiculous. 
Um, but again, at the same time, the, you do digivolve very, very quickly. Um, and I, oh god, there's so much to talk about here. All right, okay. So now, guys, when the the last time we came into the Digivolution Dojo, we had a, a quick peek and we saw that um, it had been upgraded to level two. Okay, I think. So now we have the ability to um, basically lock off Digivolution options that we don't want. So if we look at Sunamon, because he is a step behind, uh, he's not yet rookie. We can have a look at all these options. Okay, so he can turn into Gabumon which is his, his natural progression, I guess, in the series and stuff. He can also go into Galmon, Psychmon, Gabamon, Black, and Gumdramon. So, at present, as it stands, if we do no training with Sunomon, um, he is going to go into Galmon, Psychmon, or Gabamon, Black. One of these three, okay? Because, and, and that's indicated by the fixed thing, okay? When it says fixed, that means that you have all the requirements done, you're ready to go. Obviously, it would be kind of cool to get this guy into Gabamon, I think. But then we might end up with another Garurumon, which is um, which could be a bit weird because we just had Garurumon Black. I'm not sure. Gabumon would be a really cool one to get to. If we want to do that, we need to get his Wisdom and his Stamina up to 5, 5, um, well, 530 and 550. I think we only have an hour or so with this guy, so that might be possible. It might not. I'm not sure. But if we were to pick one of these guys, let's actually lock off some of these that we don't want. I mean, Gumdramon would be cool as well. I think we should lock off Gabumon Black because we just came from Garurumon Black, so I'm going to lock that one off. Now, I really don't want to end up with a Psychmon. I would much prefer Galmon, so I think we should lock off Psychmon as well. It is, there's something nice about letting the game choose for itself and having a bit of randomness, guys. Sometimes when you know what you're going to get, it kind of deflates the excitement a little bit, in my opinion. But at the same time, Galmon and Gilmon could be really, they could be a really sick pairing. Both melee fighters, I think, but then Gilmon might have some fire abilities and stuff. Um, let me just check that. Yeah, Gilmon is fire. He actually has his uh, requirements to hit this champion Digimon already, guys, which is hilarious. Even though he has just Digivolved into Rookie, he is already um, equipped to Digivolve into this Digimon here. Now, because we have no info on these guys, we don't know what it is yet. So, yeah, it is what it is. We could lock this off to be sure and protect ourselves, but um, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it for now. I think we've got a few days anyway before Gilmon is going to start to Digivolve, so... Yeah, I'm going to leave open these three options here because honestly, Gumdramon, Galmon, and Gabamon, I'd be happy with any of these. I mean, maybe Gumdramon would be a little bit suckier than Galmon. I don't know. I'm going to leave up to fate. We're going to head back to the gym. We're going to do a spot more of training and then we're going to find out what it is that we are going to digivolve into. If I put this, if I put AK on speed training, then he will he will have that chance to become Gumdramon. So I don't know if that's an op like an opportunity that we want to consider or not. We'll keep Daryl on speed training for now. Okay, we are going to put you on wisdom training, I think, my friend. And just top that up a little bit. And then I think after a couple of sessions, this guy should be ready to Digivolve as well. And then we will be fully ready to go on and fight the world. I mean, right now, we could probably go on and fight the world. But there is there is a bit of a an advantage to using the Digivolution difference between Daryl and Kay. To, uh, to grab some easy stats here in the gym to try and get some concentrated stats because we will lose that in just, um, well, in a couple of minutes actually when uh, when K digivolves. So we'll get a massive boost to our HP here because that is going to be quite important when we're training. I'll probably keep these guys on this route, I think. Let's give some MP to uh, Daryl as well. Make sure that he's got enough juice for when he's training because that is going to be our next step, guys. That's going to be our next um, next part of our journey. We'll be going out into the world and starting our training again with these guys. Now, I will find a way to make that enjoyable for you guys. Don't worry. Some of you will want to see all of the training and some of you will want to see like an abridged version of the training. I can completely appreciate both sides. So I will try and find a happy middle ground where everybody wins, okay? Obviously, I can't, I can't always please everybody. It's too difficult. It's impossible. But I'll try my best, all right? And I'll give you guys as good a show as I can. So here we go. It's time for Katie Digivolve. I wonder who we're going to get. It's not going to be Gabamon, but it is in fact Galmon. Okay, cool. So the little boxing glove dude himself. We now have a fire type Digimon in, uh, in Daryl. And we also have our melee version in Galmon, which is really, really cool, guys. I'm really, really pleased with these two guys. So, guys, 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 let's uh, let's have a look. So it is Wednesday. Let's, uh, let's do something interesting. Let's uh, pop down to the uh we'll pop down to the restaurant and we'll have a look and see if anything is on sale now normally we want to be looking for the tuesday sales right but i think that somebody else must have a discount on a wednesday let's have a look it's not Renamon. Renamon, my friend have you got um no you've not got any discounts either damn you guys suck 
I'm in charge of food, and today is Wednesday, half price. All right, here we go. So can we get any stat boosts from any of these for a decent amount of money? I don't want to burn a lot of stuff here. So this is going to reduce our... In fact, all of these reduce our discipline. Hmm, interesting. So that's a 1,000 bits for a fried food bucket. Satiety, weight goes up, HP goes up, uh, happiness goes up, and strength goes up. I mean, that's quite a lot of stats. This one looks even better for a 1,000 bits. The burger... We get dis negative discipline and our weight goes up. Let's um let's give these guys two um let's get buy a burger for both of these guys. In fact, looks like they're having two burgers. But that's a, this is going to be a massive uh, booster stat. So I think that the the four k we spent there was pretty much worth. So all these stats have been multiplied by a chunk, um, and unfortunately our discipline goes down. But really, it's not a big deal. So we managed to get uh, the discount, which is kind of nice. I also want to talk to Demi Devimon and see how the market's looking because we haven't touched this yet. Not Demi Devimon, he's just floating at the side. Dude, get out of my fucking way. Etamon, my bro, talk to us. What is the uh, the market looking like? Oh my god, you're... This winged bird bitch, would you get my face? Alright. Sorry, I'm relaxed. Everybody chill. Etamon, you want to know about the market? I certainly do. Okay, cool. So, for the first time, guys, we came in here and uh, we've been able to actually buy something. So... Let's uh, stack up on some lithographs here. Um, we can only buy a maximum of 10. It's going to cost us 1,480 in total. But our our aim is to come back here in a few days when this is um, at a higher price and sell it back. Now, we won't make a massive amount of money doing this, but we will be able to slowly build up our market value and gain a bit of money on the side. So, yeah, a lot of good stuff there. The, the, really, the, the market will not make you too much money until you upgrade it a few times, if at all. So we won't be wasting too much time with it, but at the same time, it is a good way to kind of generate some cash on the side. So the next thing we need to do, folks, sorry, I feel like I'm doing like a bit of a, a I'm doing a bit of a checklist right now. Okay, we're running around and we're um, basically doing all the things that I would normally do if I was playing this game by myself. And it's just preparing ourselves for the next run of our Digimon. So what I would normally do is I would go to the the storehouse, which is what we're doing just now. And I'm going to get rid of all the shit that we don't need, okay? So, like, all of these, the large recoveries, we won't need those anymore because we're training with rookies. They don't have enough HP, etc, etc. And we're just going to clean out our inventory very, very quickly. This isn't very exciting. There's no um, action-packed gameplay here. But if you guys want a bit of a feel for what I do um, when I'm playing normally, then I guess it is a let's play after all. So, we get an upgrade to Digimon's house now. I don't know if it actually looks different, but, yeah, it is what it is. Let's say uh, let's do exactly what I said I was gonna. So, we want to keep a hold of a medicine. Um, we can probably keep a recovery disc, but all these large recoveries we can put in. Large MP discs we can put in. Uh, regen discs we probably don't need this many, but let's put one. No, what, why would we put one in the bank? Okay, bandages we'll keep. Large double disc we want to get rid of. Hollow disc we don't need. All pilots we will keep. MP disc we can keep. Uh, cloudy orange we don't need you. We don't need you. We'll keep the cheerful apples because they will help us um, figure out what the fuck these Digimon are going to want to eat because they're going to be little bitches at first. Quick fruits, oily fruits, cob fruits. This is all the stuff I took out, guys, because I thought that I was going to need it when we were, uh, you know, out and about and I thought we were going to have to feed our Digis. Let's uh, go along to the shop once again. I know I've just came in here not that long ago. But now I want to buy a stash of medium recoveries, okay? So we have eight. Uh, I think we'll buy about 12 to take us up to 20 and we'll do the exact same for the medium recoveries as well We could probably in the early stage We could buy some small small ones as well and just see if these actually sustain us for the time being they might they might not I'm not sure But uh, there we go. We spent a lot of money there I mean as well repair our tents as well because I think we've been using that a couple of times Good to keep an eye on that. All right, let's uh, let's head back to the main square and have a look at our Digimon because one thing we haven't kind of organized yet is how much actual ha what, what type of moves we have okay and how strong are our Digimon really so we will take them out in battle soon but yeah let's have a look so our chart has been reset I, I, th I forgot to point this out to you guys and um, actually we never I haven't been looking too much at the move sets for quite some time and we actually had a lot of new abilities that were, were very powerful that I wasn't equipping on our last two guys and Sam and Joe we actually picked up Ice Statue, which is incredibly powerful. I don't think any of our guys would have been able to use that anyway, but we also picked up Shadow Fall, which Black Garurumon or Garurumon Black would have definitely been able to use. So we missed the opportunity to see what that looks like. It is our A range move, but it costs a lot. We also pick up Warcry, which is a buffing ability that I think buffs your strength in, in battle. It doesn't do... Or, or does that do damage? It's just power. I'm uh, kind of confused. Okay, so no, that's actually an, that's an attack ability. 
I guess it makes enemies angry as well as doing um, a little bit of damage. I, I don't know. Maybe it buffs as well as does damage. I think that might be what it is. I'm not sure. It's been a while. We also have Poop Fling, uh, which is a very strong filth move. For some reason, we have managed to consecutively pick up all of these. I guess we've been training against a lot of Jeremon. That's the only way I can explain that, but it's also kind of weird. So yeah, um, down at the crux of things, um, we can actually use Fire Tower on Gilmon here. So I think we should probably equip that. And then we can also do the spin attack. So we've got one AoE move and we've got one regular move. I won't put on Buster Dive just now because even though Buster Dive would be fantastic for getting us through fights quickly, this guy does not have the MP to use more than like two Buster Dives in a row before he'll be burnt out. Okay, so we'll leave him on these two attacks for now. One normal, one AoE as I said. Let's have a look at Galmon. He is a little bit less flexible um, than Gilmon, which is annoying, but at the same time it's fine. Uh, Gilmon or K here actually does... Is it K that's got the MP boost? I think it is, right? So maybe we can actually equip him with Buster Dive. I don't know. We have the ability to use these two moves here, but they're the only two we don't have um, almost in the early age, in the early stages. We have the Fire, the Ice, the Dark, and the Holy moves, but we don't have any of these two yet. So, interesting. Let's put on... We'll just put on Mac Jab and Spin Attack for now. And if we find out that K has a lot of mana to spare, we can maybe put on Buster Dive. But, yeah, guys... We are coming up for the end of this episode, which is kind of weird because honestly we haven't done too much other than do like a rebirth episode where we prepare and organise, which is fine because it's interesting for me. I know it's kind of boring for some of you guys, so I apologise that we never went out, but it means that when we start off next episode, tomorrow's episode, we can do things properly and we can start things off with a bang because we will be able to uh, take these guys out and see who they can fight and what they can do and how quickly we can gain stats. I'm really excited for these two guys because I think that they will be able to dive into some of the much more tougher training areas. They're going to be able to cash in on the fact that we will be able to give Champion Digimon an ass whooping and when we can beat Champion Digimon with our rookies, it means that the stats we gain are going to be so much better they're going to be really, really good compared to when we were like champions fighting champions and stuff like that. So, yeah. I'm really excited to see what Daryl and Kay can do for us in the series. I hope you guys are enjoying the series as a whole. Let me know all your thoughts and feelings. Um, I apologise if we had an opportunity to go into some of your dudes' favourite Digimon and we never, but we will probably be able to do a lot more cycles after this anyway. So there is a chance that your, uh, your favourite Digis do reoccur at some point and appear. Who knows? You guys let me know what you think as always. I love you very, very much and I will see you tomorrow. Take care, guys. Bye-bye.